So when you're first starting out with sequences and series from a calculus point of view, uh, you might be wondering, how can we actually add up infinitely many numbers and still get something finite? So if we say the sum from n equals 1 to positive infinity of a sub n, how do we actually add all these up? a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus dot dot dot. How do we actually get something finite out of this? We'll call it capital S. How can that actually be possible? Because it seems like if you're adding an infinite amount of numbers, let's say they're all positive, if you add an infinite amount of positive numbers, then how could that possibly converge to something finite? Well, the idea is that the a sub n must uh, go to 0 as n goes to infinity. Okay? Or in other words, the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n has to be 0. But I do want to point out that this is actually uh, what's called a necessary condition, but not sufficient but not uh, sufficient. Let's write that over here. Well, over here. So what does that mean? Well, what that means basically is in order for this series to actually converge and equal the finite value, it is necessary that this limit be true. However, it's not enough. It's not sufficient. Okay, it's not enough to just have this. And how do we, well, what else do we need? Well, the extra part that we need is sort of hard to classify or really explain, but the extra part is basically, so not only does this limit have to be zero, but the a sub n, the a sub n must go to zero quickly enough. Okay, what does that mean to go to zero quickly enough? Well, that's the part that's sort of hard to describe, hard to quantify. But uh, there are a few different types of series, and in the future videos, we'll talk about these different types of series and how to analyze whether they converge or diverge. But for now, just remember that um, this is what's called a necessary condition. So if you know this is true, and that's all you know, then you can't say, does the series converge or diverge? You don't know. Okay. But um, this sort of leads into something called the nth term test, which we'll talk about in a later video. But for now, just know that this is a necessary condition, and it's not sufficient. Okay, so just knowing this is not enough to say that the series converges. Okay, um, not only does this have to be true, but the a sub n have to go to zero quickly enough. And what does that mean quickly enough? Well, again, that's the part that's hard to quantify, hard to explain what it really is, and it, it differs depending on what type of series we're talking about. And again, we'll see examples of various types of series in future videos and talk about how to analyze them. Okay, so that's an explanation of how we can add up infinitely many numbers and still get a finite uh, value. So let's actually, before we go, let's see a quick uh, concrete example. So let's say we have something like the sum from n equals 1 to positive infinity of 1 tenth to the n. So what would this be? Well, this would be 1 tenth to the first, which is just 1 tenth, plus 1 tenth squared, plus 1 tenth cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. And then this is uh, 1 tenth plus 1 over 100 plus 1 over 1,000, okay? Because 1 tenth, that whole thing squared, is just 1 squared over 10 squared. 1 squared is just 1, 10 squared is 100, so that's how that simplifies there. And same thing, 1 tenth cubed simplifies to 1 over 1,000. And then don't forget the plus dot 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 over here, okay? So what's so special about that? Well, let's clear some space over here. We'll get rid of that just so it doesn't look goofy. So this equals, so let's convert that to decimals and see what it looks like. Well, this equals 1 tenth is 0 0.1, 1 one hundredth is 0 0.01, 1 one thousandth, 1 one thousandth is 0 0.001. Okay, and that pattern is going to continue, plus dot, 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 and so on and so forth. So notice here we have 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Then the next term is going to be 0 0.0001. The next one after that will be zero, or, or sorry, point uh, zero 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 one, and so on and so forth. Okay, each next term has one more zero before the one here. So if we were to put all those together, this would actually be zero point one 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 dot dot dot. So the ones would be infinitely repeating. So another way of writing that is zero point one with that bar over it to denote that the ones are infinitely repeating. And this actually has a finite value, which is one ninth. Okay, so that's an example of how we can have uh, infinitely many positive numbers that we add together and we end up with this uh, finite value, one ninth here. Now I do want to point out that this st the steps that we went through here, it's hardly really a proof 
uh, that this equals one ninth. Um, it's not really rigor no rigorous enough to uh, be acceptable for credit in a course or something like that. But this is just uh, an example that we want to go through without talking about the details yet uh, to show that we can add infinitely many positive numbers and get a finite value in the end. Okay, so we'll talk about how to actually calculate this uh, actually this value for series like this in a later video. But for now, just know that this is an example of adding positive numbers, infinitely many of them, to get a finite value. And um, notice here the one tenth to the n. So that's our a sub n. Okay, this is our a sub n here. Uh, a sub n in this case equals one tenth of the n. And notice that uh, the limit as n goes to a positive infinity of a sub n equals the limit as n goes to positive infinity of one tenth to the n. And one tenth of the n, we can rewrite that as one to the n over ten to the n. One to the n is of course just one. Ten to the n is ten to the n. So this is the limit as n goes to positive infinity of one over ten to the n, which is just zero, right? Because as n gets infinitely large, 10 to the n also gets infinitely large very, very quickly, and 1 just stays 1. So basically what we have is 1, just the fixed constant 1, divided by something that's getting super, super huge very quickly. So this whole thing approaches 0, which means the limit uh, equals 0. So that's why this limit is 0. So now, but again, remember what we said earlier was this uh, limit as n goes to positive infinity of a sub n equals 0. It's not enough to just know that we also have to know that the a sub n go to zero quickly enough. And in this case, it turns out they do go to zero quickly enough. Okay, so we'll talk about exactly what quickly enough means for this type of series later on. Okay, but again, just uh, some, just a quick example here of how we can actually do this and get a finite value without talking about too many details yet. So the details for this type of series, which is called a geometric series, and for more series later on in future videos.